Okay, for this Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing, we're going to be going over the ISS Defiant. Okay, so these are the contents here of the ISS Defiant. First, again, as usual, we'll look at the ship itself. And you can see it's, uh, again, a pretty boring yet very clean paint job on it. With no obvious Federation markings, of course, because it's not a Federation ship. Let's take a look at the cards. Start with Captain Sisko. Um, during your roll attack dice step, you may discard two of your upgrades, crew, tech, or weapons. If you do so, gain plus one attack die for each upgrade you discard with this card. Two points, four skill captain with an elite talent, and be able to discard upgrades for a bonus attack dice. You know, if you got something that protects your um, uh, upgrades for like uh, Riker or Beverly Crusher or Goval or something like that, it might be a bad deal. Multi-targeting phaser banks. When you perform a target lock action, you may disable this card to acquire a second target lock. And it's been um, ruled that you can you do that even when it's disabled. Uh, while you have two, while you have this upgrade on the ship, you may have up to two different enemy ships target locked at the same time. So that's a really cool, uh, really cool uh, tech for five points. Captain Miles O'Brien, add one tech upgrade slot to your upgrade bar action. Repair one damage to your hull or shields. Not too bad. Five skill for three points and an elite talent slot. That's not bad. That's not bad at all for the price. Rom, discard this card to target a ship at range one to three. Disable up to two tech upgrades of your choice on that target ship. And it may be used against a ship that is cloaked. Two points and an action for a discard. That's... Again, pretty point efficient for what it does. Mirror Universe Captain. Act Phaser Emitter. Disables card from this attack. You may only fire from your rear arc. R uh, range 1 to 3 for 3 attacks. And again, a single, single lonely point. Again, these aft weapons they have on here. So there's one that comes with the Vulcan ship. Now this one. And the one that came with the uh, uh, NX-01. Those are really, I mean, they're really, really cool cards if you need to, especially if you just need to make up a point. Uh, Julian Bashir, discard this card, this card, another action and discard. It's again, only two points for that. Discard this card to take a ship at range 1 to 3. If that ship attacks this round, it must attack your ship and cannot attack any other ship. If it does attack your ship during the rolled attack dice, it gains minus 2 attack dice. So that is huge, especially if you're like out of the uh, other ship's arc, so it can't attack you. Um, that'll prevent it from attacking anybody else. So that's an awesome, awesome ability in a multi-ship fleet. Especially if you get split up a little bit. Especially for two points, yeah. It's, again, another excellent, excellent card. Here's your Defiant class maneuvering chart. I don't know how that compares to the regular Defiant, but that's what it looks like. Here's your Quantum Torpedoes. Pretty much the same as the standard universe quantum torpedoes. Dax. When your ship suffers damage to its hull, you may discard this card to reduce that damage by one. So she basically is uh, two points for uh, absorbing a hull damage. Yeah. Here's an elite talent strafing run. Action. If you perform a maneuver with a number three or higher, target an enemy ship within range one to three that is not in your front firing arc. This card discard you need to make one free attack against that ship with four attack dice. Treat this attack as if it was fired with a primary weapon. So five point discard for an extra free attack um, with four dice. That's not bad. I don't know if it's worth the five points, but that's still definitely not a bad card at all. Ezri. Discard this card to target a ship at range one to three. Steal one tech upgrade from that target ship with an SP cost of five or less, even if it exceeds your ship's restrictions. Place a disabled token upon the stolen upgrade. Well, she used to steal a tech upgrade. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Jennifer Cisco. Add one tech upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. At the start of the game, after setup, target one enemy ship anywhere in the play area and disable up to two upgrades to your choice on that ship. This card is absolutely freaking amazing. Um, being able to start your give your opponent a handicap at the beginning of the game um this is this is just an incredible card and you know she does give you a tech upgrade she has three points so you can even discard her for something like um needs of the mini um 
to get a couple shields back, or you can use it with Captain Cisco discard her to get an extra attack dice sometime. Uh, anything that can discard is a crew card. Uh, this will be excellent for it. This is an absolutely amazing card. All the cards in here are really good, actually, so far. Uh, rebellion. If you're defending against a ship that has a greater hull value than your hull ship, than your ship's hull, during the roll attack device dice step, you may discard this card to force that ship to roll minus two attack dice. And after that ship's attack is completed, you may immediately make one free attack against that ship with your primary weapon, if possible. Which means if you're an arc. So again, this is this is a really good card. Sure, it's a five point discard, but in the same one turn, you. you you nerf an opponent's roll by two dice, and you get to make it an extra attack. So, for free. So that's, that's huge. That's a really nice card. Uh, the Mirror Universe Faction rules. And of course, the Mirror Universe is already in their main rules with their uh, for the initiative order. And explains the Mirror Universe unique icon. Which, you, which basically says you can have the Mirror Universe and the um, Prime Universe card on the table at the same time. So you can have a Mirror Universe Wharf and a Prime Wharf in your fleet at the same time. Uh, ISS Defiant. Each time you suffer damage from attack, you may place an auxiliary power token beside your ship to reduce that amount of damage by one. So that's really cool. Now you got four attack, two evades, three hold, three shields. So this is what this is a much better version of the Defiant than the Defiant, because uh, uh, with that extra attack, that really makes a difference on a small ship like this. And here's the Mirror Universe version or the standard version of it. So overall, this is an amazing expansion pack. Uh, the cards are just great. Uh, let's see here what we have. Okay, so here it is, the Defiant class. It does have front and rear arcs. Uh, target lock, all the standard cards, your captain tokens. So nothing exciting in the tokens, other than noticing that, noting that the ship does have front and rear arcs. So that's just about it for this unboxing, the ISS Defiant. The Mirror Universe faction is definitely growing. First we got the uh, Prakesh uh, blind bag ship, which is the only one of the Rift blind bag ships I don't have. Um, now you got the Defiant and the Regent's ship coming out. Um, and of course the... Uh, uh, the uh, um, ass assimilated target prime if you happen to have one of those so the uh, mirror universe faction is growing and all so far all the cards all the ships so far have been really really useful and pretty good so i think mirror universe will definitely be a faction to contend with before long so that's it for this unboxing talk to you guys later